AOVs will be used throughout this course, so let's take a little time to define what they are and some of the other terminology associated with them. Okay, so let's break down this terminology. There's a few different terms here that we're gonna talk about, but first let's talk about AOVs, what they actually stand for. So an AOV stands for an arbitrary output variable. This is basically just an extra plane of data, an extra image uh, plane that's basically passed along with the render uh, as we're rendering our final image. These might take several different forms. Uh, we're gonna talk about a couple uh, different kind of generalized concepts uh, that can be stored in an AOV uh, and the next slide. But for right now, just know that this is basically an extra image plane that we can switch over to to take a look at uh, some other data that's being passed along. A render var uh, is actually another term uh, that means sort of a similar uh, idea, and this is something that comes from USD, and this is basically a custom variable uh, that's computed by the render or shader. Uh, this is usually included in an AOV, so this render var is usually stored in an AOV, um, but um, it doesn't have to be, uh, and sometimes these signals are just things that are used by the renderer uh, and not actually something that we want to pass out uh, for the user to then look at after the fact. Uh, a couple examples of this within Karma uh, are under the extra render vars uh, settings uh, in the Karma render settings node. Um, we can find things like hit stack, contribution, flags, and this DPDZ render var as well. So those are ones that if you try to put those into an AOV and take a look at them, you're not really going to get any, any useful data out of them. Finally, you might hear the term image planes. Uh, this usually is used, used when we're referring to things like layers in a file, uh, like an EXR layer. Usually we might call those image planes. Uh, so those are usually embedded in the file and uh, almost kind of uh, when you open them up in, in an application like, like uh, Photoshop, you might see them as different uh, layers that are stored in that same file. But one really important thing to kind of note is that oftentimes these terms can be interchanged with each other um, when we're not being super careful about talking about uh, our terminology. So you might hear me say something like a render var or an AOV, and those things can be uh, switched sometimes. So uh, just, just know that when we're talking about um, this AOV concept, we're basically talking about an extra image that's being stored alongside our final render. Let's talk about a couple types of AOVs that we'll find uh, within Karma. So there's two different types kind of that I identified. Uh, there may be more if you d dive into more technical things, uh, but as far as what, what we can really, what we normally see, there's two general uh, types. The first one is material AOVs. Uh, these are signals that are kind of sent from the shaders, from the materials uh, through to the renderer. And these can include a, f a bunch of different things. They can be just solid colors. They could be uh, noise and, and things like that, or they could be actual image textures uh, that are being passed to the final render. The other type of AOV uh, that is often seen in uh, in Karma is light path expressions. Uh, this is kind of a big term, and we're going to break this down a little bit more uh, in a later video. Uh, but basically, this this focuses um, our our specific AOV on certain paths that are being traced through the scene. Uh, so um, if you're tracing, say, rays that are hitting uh, objects that are making a diffuse bounce, and then maybe a specular bounce, things like that, um, you can define uh, with a light path expression expression which specific bounces you want to uh, focus on. So there's some real uh, fine grain control there that you can really dial in certain types of light rays that you're looking at, light paths. Um, and so we'll look at how to define these, but most of what you uh, set up in the actual Karma render settings are going to be light path expressions. So just a good thing to keep in mind there. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to actually uh, find these AOVs, like where they are in the Houdini user interface, and then also how to go through and select them uh, in the different places that we can find them.